art curves here for easy access math. And today I have another lesson on inequalities, specifically looking at plotting the solution on a number line. But what's different in this inequality, and what I want you to watch out for, is um, this is a simple inequality, but I ended up at this point. You might have more work to do beforehand, before you get to this point. But at this point, I have a negative 2x greater than 6. This is a simple inequality because I only really have one step to do. I want to get x by itself. I need to divide. But what makes this different is I'm dividing by a negative 2. I'm dividing by a negative. And when you divide by a negative, something really strange happens with this inequality. Remember, I divide sine and all, both sides. And because I'm dividing by a negative, which gives me x by itself, this sine flips to the other way. It was greater than. Division by a negative flips it to less than. If it was less than, division by a negative would flip it to greater than. So the greater than flipped to net less than. And 6 divided by negative 2, remember your rules of division of sine numbers, they're unlike, gives me a negative 3. So x is less than negative 3. And that is my solution. And I'm going to plot this on the number line. x is less than negative 3. But before I do, I want to check. So, I'll pick any number that's less than negative 3. What's 1 less than negative 3? I hope you said negative 4. Remember, when you're in negative, the number looks bigger, but it's actually a smaller number. Negative 4 is 1 less than negative 3. So negative 2 times negative 4 is greater than 6. I'm going back to my original inequality before I flipped it. When you check, you're going back to the original. Negative times negative is positive, so negative 2 times negative 4 is a positive 8, and yes, positive 8 is greater than negative 6. So my answer is true. x, when I substitute x, which I substitute a number of less than because I flip, x is less than negative 3. Now, since it's less than and not less than and equal to, I make a hollow circle. And less than is going back. Smaller numbers going towards the left is less than. That's the direction that's less than. The same direction as that symbol. Make my number line with the arrow going that way. X is less than negative 3. And you look at the numbers that are less than. Negative 4 is less than negative 3. Negative 5 is less. These are going smaller and smaller because the deeper you go into negative, the higher the absolute value is, but it's really smaller numbers. It's like owing money. You have less money if you owe 4, and you have even less if you owe 5. These are going smaller, going to the left, is less than. Let's try it with the equal sign. It's going to be the same concept. Negative 2x is greater than or equal to 6. I'll divide both sides by negative 2. That gives me x, but because I divided by a negative, I divided by a negative, it flips the other way, less than it equals. It flips the other way, the equal sign stays. 6 divided by negative 2, back to the rules of sign numbers, unlike signs, are negative. So again, it's negative 3. If the signs were the same, if you divide by two negatives, you're going to get a positive. Keep that in mind, but here the signs were unlike. So the answer was negative. 
rules of division of sign numbers. So x is less than and equal to negative 3. We already tested that number is less than negative 3 by choosing negative 4. It did work. You could try again with the less than and equal. It will work. But the only difference when it's less than and equal with the bar on the bottom is the circle around that number is filled in because it's including negative 3 because it will equal negative 3. If you try negative 3 as a substitution, uh, you would have negative 2 times negative 3 is greater or equal to 6. And 2 times 3 is 6. 6 is greater or equal. It happens to be equal to 6. So in the case of less, uh, greater than and equal, the original equation, negative 3 is included because it works, because it equals, and less than. Uh, that was the solution. Less than or equal to negative 3, which is the solution that you're plotting, makes the original equation work. You have to uh, be careful because we're looking at two things. The original equation is what we test, but it's the solutions, the number that you're plugging into the original equation, the solution that you're plotting on the number line. And that's how you do a number line with an inequality. 